This is a winter weather alert. You are watching 13 on your side. We start this afternoon with the forecast and the latest round of snow falling here in West Michigan. The snow along with the strong winds are creating some dangerous driving conditions. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist George Lessons with a first look at our forecast, George. The good news is that this windy snowstorm is going to be ending in the next few hours, but it is right coming right at peak travel time. Let's take a look at some of the snowfall amounts, including what fell last night. We've had a generous one to three inches across across the area. A lot more down in Allegan County where 8 to 12 inches of snow. A lot of that falling last night led to some school closings. Wind gusts up above 35 miles an hour, which is actually blizzard criteria. The winds are coming down just a little bit, but it's driving that snow all through West Michigan. Winter weather advisory remains in effect for those counties until 8 o'clock this evening. And then I'm sure there'll be more alerts issued for tomorrow's system. The back edge of the system is coming on shore. It should be ending along the lake shore a little after 6, around 7.30 here in the greater Grand Rapids area, and after 10, uh, counties to the east of Grand Rapids. Then we're going to be watching a system that is coming out of the Wyoming Rockies. It's going to take a storm track to our south. Again, this will bring heavier snow to the area, and you can see with the current uh, advisories and warnings where the path of that storm may end up and that will be heading right toward West Michigan starting tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow night. So adjust your travel plans accordingly. Visibilities are down to around three quarters of a mile or less. So just slow down here this evening. Temperatures are at or a little bit above freezing lower inland and wind chill readings have been in the teens all day. It has been a very wintry day here in West Michigan. We'll talk more on the timing of that more impactful system coming our way on Saturday and Saturday night. How much snow we could get as well in just a few minutes. Yesterday marked the 45th anniversary. Oh yeah, the blizzard of 78. West Michigan got 33 inches of snow, and as we remember that storm, we are also looking back at our most recent blizzard, the blizzard of 2022, right around Christmas just last month. Yeah, our meteorologists look back at the storm in a new special, and you can watch it on 13 Plus as well as our YouTube channel. And George out on the weather deck again looking dapper, isn't he? Yes, and there's going to snow, but we're not going to have anything like that, even oh, though the it is a little windy today. Oh, it was a little windy. Absolutely, guys. I just finished writing an article comparing the oh. 1978 blizzard to the 2022 blizzard, uh -huh. and you'll see where I rank all of those if you go on our website and take a look at that story. Interesting. Okay. You yeah. might find some interesting things that nobody else talks about. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, can't wait to read that. It felt like a <laughs> blizzard out here for a while today, yeah. guys. Winds are still a bit of a problem. Travel is still uh, problematic because the snow continues to come down and it is going to come to an end fairly quickly in the next two to four hours. 13 weather ball tonight blinking bright for another round of much heavier snow in sight coming tomorrow. And it's green, no change to the 30s foreseen. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Snow quickly ending here in Grand Rapids after about 730 and then later off to the east. It will be cloudy the rest of the night, getting cold again down into the low 20s. Only in the upper 20s here tomorrow as some snow begins to move in during the afternoon. Visibilities will be low and boy, is it going to come down very quickly. So the winter weather impacts not Unlike today, except we won't have the wind, we will have the low visibility at times just because it's going to snow so hard and there'll be high travel impacts. So adjust your plans accordingly through early on Sunday morning, all day after Saturday afternoon through Sunday night or uh, Saturday night, I should say. Storm track is going to be passing off to our south once again, so we're going to be on the cold side of this system. And you saw earlier where that band of advisories are already in effect. They're going to let these advisories end this evening before they issue more winter alerts. There's the back edge of the precipitation. It's done, but here comes the next round. Pretty potent system already snowing in the morning here in Iowa. That's going to race very quickly. It'll be here in the afternoon and evening tomorrow, and it will snow a pretty much all night Saturday night and quickly pull away on Sunday. End of the day, we might see some of that filtered sunshine that we saw earlier today. You wouldn't know it with all the snow that's coming down right now. Snowfall going to be quite heavy. 
You can see all the way from Nebraska, South Dakota into Iowa. This is over a foot of snow. Great swath of six to eight inches plus here in West Michigan. So this is definitely going to impact your travel. Long range outlook for the 2nd through the 6th of February. Already next week, high chances will stay colder than average, but the storm track is going to be away from us, so we'll see very little precipitation during that five day period. Advisory ends at 8 o'clock at the lakeshore northward, low to mid 20s. Still windy yet this evening, but the winds will die down after midnight. Around 20 to 23 up north again, the advisory is ending this evening. And here in the greater Grand Rapids zone to the east, it'll end about 10 p.m. Here in Grand Rapids around 730 overnight lows in the low to mid 20s. 13 on your side forecast. We've highlighted Saturday with that impact day in orange. Snow in the morning Sunday, but clearing late in the day. Some lake effect flurries uh, Monday and Tuesday. Look at that high on Tuesday. Only 16 will climb out of the basement in the 20s the rest of next week and maybe get to 34 by the following Sunday when there may be more snow. Started the day with a little filtered sunshine that was welcome and then wow, the winds picked up and the snow came down. That's about ready to come to an end, but we got another snow hot on the heels of this one. 13 weather ball is coming up momentarily, but I wanted to show you what Paul shot over in Spring Lake. Snow coming down, covering the grill there, the deck. Yeah, it looks like a winter wonderland. Thanks for sharing that with me on Facebook from Spring Lake. 13 weather ball is blinking bright. The end of the flurry is in sight, but more snow in sight on your Saturday afternoon and night. It's also green. No change to the 30s foreseen. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Highs today, mid 30s at the lakeshore. We stopped at 28 here in Grand Rapids. I think our temperatures may actually go up once the snow ends this evening. So I'm sure we'll get closer to our 34 for a high. Right now it's the first miss in I think 19 days. We'll all try to get that back to 20 here later on tonight. Today, 7 tenths of an inch out at the airport. That brings the January total to 6.4. We may see that much here on Saturday and Saturday night. We're about a foot below average the winter season because of November and December. We are well above average. One of the few in the state. Most other areas are running a snow deficit with the exception of South Bend there in Lansing. Snow deficits up north as well and across the lake. Downwind of Lake Superior, however, they've had more lake effect snow there than we have had in lower Michigan. Tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, we have another winter impact system. High impacts for low visibility and traveling, so adjust your travel plans accordingly later on tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Back edge of the snow approaching the greater Grand Rapids area it should be over before 7 o'clock and once you get over to US 127 by 830. Next weather system though is back to our west. This cold front once it goes through will pretty much put an end to our precipitation. Let's walk you through Saturday snow. There goes the snow here uh, tonight. Cloudy skies to start, so do your morning uh, runs and errands before the snow rolls in in the afternoon. It won't be very heavy, but it'll be light. Be kind of like what we saw today without the wind. Snow comes down very heavy tomorrow night, and then that pulls away very quickly on Sunday morning. May still be snowing when the sun comes up on Sunday. End of the day, we actually may see a few breaks in the clouds. In terms of snowfall, the rest of the night, we're looking at maybe a quarter to a half an inch here in the next half an hour to 45 minutes or so, and that's already pulling to the east. And then here's the snow at the end of the afternoon tomorrow. Not a lot, but already an inch in Grand Rapids, an inch and a half in Holland, and that's just the beginning. Watch the snow come down. This is just overnight Saturday night. There could be a good swath of six plus inches across the region. And then as that pulls away, very little the rest of the day. As I mentioned, the sun may just peak out at the end of the day. So wait to do all of your snow clearing in the afternoon then on Sunday. Long range outlook every Friday. We get the two week outlook from February 11th through the 24th. Looks like we're going to shift to a warmer than average weather pattern. In terms of precipitation, a little bit higher chance we could see more precipitation. If it's warm, it may lean more toward rain than snow. Then tomorrow, we're looking at snow developing in the afternoon, mid and upper 20s to near 30. That is colder than you were today. Up north, mid and upper 20s. Afternoon snow, and especially tomorrow night. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, the snow will move from west to east during the afternoon. Highs around 30 to 33. 13 on your side forecast. <coughs> We've highlighted Saturday with that impact day, and then the snow ends. Next week, ooh, bitterly cold. Teens and 20s will slowly climb out of the basement from Tuesday 
all the way up to 34 the following Sunday when we might see more accumulating snow.